the third group, the third group was one. At six in the morning, a bunch of students gathered in a room to learn accounts from one of the brilliant teachers. That day, sir said, in my class, you have to follow three rules. But that's not how he said it. He said it in a loud, booming voice. I will help you teach accounts. But in my class, you must remember the three golden rules. Do not sleep in my class. Never be late to my class. You get exactly what you give. Good morning, Toastmasters and guests. The last rule never really made any sense to me until exactly a week later. We were working on a sum and sir asked for the answer. I screamed, 125,000 sir. But everyone else around me screamed, 185,000 sir. I immediately took my book to see where I had gone wrong. But all I saw was a white page, alone with working notes and calculations all around. I didn't know where my sum started and where it ended. That's when I realized what Sir's third rule meant. You do messy work, you get messy results. You get exactly what you give. This revelation hit me hard because right from childhood, I was taught the same thing. When I first started school, my mom would tell me, listen, be nice, be polite. No one would want to befriend a rude girl, right? <laughs> or at the time of my boards, she would tell me, work hard, you will get good grades. So third rule was always in force. I didn't realize it. That day, after class, I went home. I told my mom all that had happened. I told her, Ma, I figured what Sir's third rule meant. I told her the entire story. She listened patiently and then said, I knew what it meant all along. And she shared a small story with me. It's a pretty famous story that some of you might have heard. There was once an old woman who loved baking. She would bake extra bread and keep it by the window. Every day, this old hunchback would come and take the bread. And while walking back, he would say, You get exactly what you give. This happened, this went on for days. This old woman thought, That's it. I give him bread and he shows me no gratitude, not a word of thanks. She decided to mix poison with the bread. Something in her prevented her from going through with it. <coughs> that evening, when her son returned from town, he said, Mother, I've been robbed. <coughs> I've lost everything. Had it not been for that kind old hunchback who gave me his bread, I would have died of starvation. The moral of the story was loud and clear in my sir's booming voice. You get exactly what you give. Now, when I had this new wisdom, I started sharing this newfound wisdom with everyone. I went to my sister and told in a very superior voice, you know, you get exactly what you give. But I expected her to be amazed and amused. She looked at me in a very disinterested manner and said, Oh, coincidence. I was determined to prove her wrong. I kept a close eye on her, like a tiger watching its prey, waiting for the right opportunity to, opportunity to pounce. Opportunity presented itself in the form of our little sister. She went up to my sister and said, Akka, you should watch TV and eat at the same time. <coughs> my sister's face showed pure shock. Because just earlier that day, she had reprimanded the little one 
for the exact same reason. I looked at her and said, in the best imitation I could do of my sir's voice, you get exactly what you give. The third rule is in force all the time. It spares no one and it follows us like Mary's lamb. A student who copies in an exam and goes scot-free gets caught one day in spite of honestly writing his paper. The reason a waiter who returned a $20 bill instead of pocketing it got tipped $20 that very evening. The reason in fact Sir's third rule is in force even within the four walls of this room even as I speak. I don't want to ask how many of you prepare for your speeches because we all do. Right from choosing a topic till presenting it, we leave no stone unturned. We want to do our best to become a good speaker because as my sir said that day in his loud booming voice, you get exactly what you give. Oh, to the